Well, hi everyone, and welcome to Niagara National Golf and Country in Stevensville, Ontario. Just a short trip from Buffalo or Niagara Falls and those two border crossings. If you're ever in the area, please give Niagara National a look. Great things are happening here at the golf course and the general manager, Tom Penderlip, he'll take great care. The staff here is phenomenal, super friendly, and they're always accommodating. So today I'm here to do an unboxing video. I've been looking for all kinds of different products to test. Everything from golf balls to apparel to, to clubs. And today's unboxing video is golf balls. These golf balls are from a company that offers a subscription service and they have different golf balls. But the big thing to, to know here about this company is they feel that everybody regardless of the skill level, deserves to play a premium golf ball. That company is Seed Golf. So before I continue, I just want to thank Jake Dowling for giving me the opportunity to test these golf balls from Seed. So um, unfortunately, I've had some technical issues with my mic pack. Uh, the stand blew over that the camera's on right now. And this is actually take two. So I've already opened up the box. Or, or, or the package at least. And so, my bad. Um, but anyways, I opened them up and the golf balls that I received for review are the SDX1, otherwise known as the Pro X1. This is a golf ball that is gonna compare to your TaylorMade TB5, your Titleist Pro V1, as you probably guessed from, from the name. We're talking about a three-piece construction these golf balls also feature a cast urethane cover. And regarding the dimple pattern, I can't remember exactly how many they have. Uh, maybe if I just have a quick look through. Oh, this is a cool book. This will get the old juices flowing a little bit here. Right on. Huh. Anyway, it's got sidetracked there. Um, you know, so I don't know what, how many dimples it has off the top of my head. Um, but they're going to, but what, the one thing that they do say about these particular golf balls is they're designed for maximum performance. So they're going to be extra penetrating. They're going to be very stable in the wind, which is great here in the Great Lakes. We always are faced with, with winds and good greenside control around the greens. So again, you know, you're talking about your tour level golf ball. Isn't it ironic? I'm sort of wearing a TaylorMade TP5 hat. <laughs> Anyways, um, as the rains have now begun as well. So here's here's the box itself. You know, and I like what they say here on the back of the box, break par and not the bank. So Trey cool. Um, the double pattern is 332. So we're talking about a golf ball again. You're gonna get see some good yardage off the tee, theoretically speaking, of course, and that depends on the golfer themselves. So we're gonna open up the box. And they're numbered one, two, three, four. You know, I mean, boxes don't need to be flashy. I know I'm currently testing another golf ball that has the most amazing packaging ever. But uh, again, you know what? As long as they're packaged, that's what matters. That's the end game here. So I'm gonna just open up one of these, one of these sleeves and pop one out. Okay, so here it is here. Let's see here, where's the camera lens? Okay, and you know, we have a sticky cover as you would expect with a gas urethane golf ball. Uh, there's a, you know, alignment aid. And, you know, it's, you know, it, it just feels good in the hand. The, you know, there, there's that stick of the cover. So again, hopefully we're gonna see this, this uh, skin or this cover stick to the club face a little bit more around the greens. And of course, that's going to help us impart more spit on the golf ball for those greenside shots. 
As far as testing goes, I'll be doing it in a manner where I'm going to be starting off on the putting green. We're going to see how this golf ball feels off the putter and greenside chips and pitches from the rough as well. All greenside work. And then from there, we're going to go over to a practice ferry here on number one blue. And I'm going to work my way out over there onto a real green. So we're going to start greenside again work back to 25 yards, go back to about 50, 60. And from there, you know, we're already talking full approach spin. So that's going to be the process here. Uh, All right, here we are. Thank you. All right, so whenever I do testing, I always start my tests working my way from the next green one model of golf ball. way back to the driver when I'm testing golf balls. And uh, here I am, I'm at Niagara National for 33 Devils uh, spot. And I uh, thought, well, geez, what's the cast uh, thing cover? First thing that we try the testing with is always the golf ball when we're on the putting green feel. Now, now feel is one of those things that's very, uh, what's the word? Uh, feel off intimate. The putt. It's very individual. <laughs> the and uh, the one thing I gotta say about the. Man seed golf sdx1 golf ball is that it had a really good feel uh right here i'm just showing my uh uh all I say, man putter the shaft for i breakthrough use golf a uh, breakthrough golf technology i'm testing shaft this for review as well at the same time as well um and uh -huh. it's a shaft that helps to make the golf ball feel softer at impact so uh you know i'm gonna go over uh, you know, there's a nice alignment aid on these golf balls. And uh, just recently, it was announced that they brought out the all-new uh, SDX1 uh, with the, uh, uh, what's called the jack alignment aid. So, uh, I, yeah, I'm just making some putts here, getting an idea of the feel. And, uh, yeah, I really like the feel. I like the roll. Um, I would say that the feel was sort of kind of uh, like a muted click kind of a thing. Uh, again, you know, we're talking about a golf ball that has, uh, you know, a compression that's relatively high, uh, but it does have a, a, ca a cast oh, uh, urethane cover. Uh, so moving along, um, you know, the next thing that we want to have a look at is the... Uh, you know what are they like greenside what, what's the spin like and the, this first set of uh, shots that that are coming up here it was sort of funny um the very first greenside chip that i did to a relatively short-sided pin um it found the hole found the, found the bottom of the hole um i find that the uh, sdx1 from tight lies around the greens uh the golf ball does check up uh, it does uh, have great control, and that's one of the things that the company boasts about the SDX1. Otherwise, it's known as the uh, Pro One. And here, I believe I'm working on some pit shots. Uh, with the uh, pit shots, what we're doing here is we're testing it from the rough. Um, again, you know what, doesn't matter what kind of a golf ball that you're talking about, uh, you're going to have some rollout from the rough. The golf ball isn't going to spin. And this, this rough around this green at Niagara National Golf and Country in Stevensville, Ontario, it was actually pretty lush. So it just wraps around the head of the, head of the wedge. And, uh, yeah, you know, the, there was rollout. Uh, I wasn't going to that pin that you see. The, the pin that I'm going for is actually just to the right of, uh, of, the, of the camera frame. And so things are starting to get a little more serious at this point uh, with, with the testing. That one, it was a little hot. It was a little jumpy coming out of, the, uh, out of that rough there. Uh, admittedly, that one ran well past the hole. Uh, it left me a pretty tricky uh, downhiller.
So, uh, so yeah, I know the golf the golf ball uh, really does chip great. Um, you know, pitching as well. It's it's a very controllable golf ball. Oh, the that spun golf like a SDX one. That spun. So now I've moved out wow, to uh, really one of the actual up. holes on the golf course you know, here. It's actually a at, the back, at Niagara National. More towards it's the back. blue number one, or what used to be blue number one. And uh, right here I'm simulating a shot where, you know, you, you have you What have really impresses me about this golf ball right now is actually and, cool. uh, feeling golf ball. And from you know, what, you, you've left yourself short. It's always at 25 yards This ball yards definitely in, spins you know, and where checks. you're going to save strokes. So I uh, set down three of the SDX1 golf balls. Yeah, I'll put a little bit of, and more of a so, pitch action on this last know, one. It, it was uh, one of those things where the first one, even though I just came from the from a chipping green, the first shot I landed short, hit, hit into a swale, and it just stopped dead. Uh, just landed on the brakes. Uh, so that one was well short, but then the following two, you know, I played them accordingly uh, with the with the third one uh, being more of a, a true chipping action, or sorry, not a chip, but a pitch. So, um, the finish, what is my overall take on these golf balls from Seed Golf? Well, I would say that these golf balls are phenomenal. They're every bit as good as a Pro V1, which is my benchmark golf ball. They spin great. And I didn't even show anything uh, with with full iron shots or 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 driver. Um, the golf ball is responsive off the face. It's a three piece design, cast urethane cover. All the golf balls from from Seed Golf, uh, you're not going to pay more than thirty five dollars US uh, for us Canadians. It's a little bit more, of course, but uh, all in all. The Seed Golf SD X1 golf balls are a golf ball that I definitely recommend. I found them to be a little bit longer. Um, you know, buy about half a club or so, uh, and um, very controllable golf ball. Good alignment aid. Price point is fantastic. However, if there is an issue, that would be. I have some questions about the durability of the Cassier thing cover. So that's it for now. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next tee.